Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT. We're back with WWE Champions. And today, I got the all-new Leonardo Seth Rollins. And this man will make you dizzy because he does not stop swinging the swords. Like, I don't know. It's pretty insane. So, we're going to take a look. And this is the most busted coach ever. <laughs> He's a coach. Multiply gems, increase their strength by three. That's actually incredible. Um, I really need to acquire that. So, actually, you know what I haven't looked at yet? What is the link for Ninja Turtles? Any color moves that deal damage will deal 75% more. Unreal. Because this first move set we're going to run here is absolutely move damage. And this is my favorite move set I've ever done. The first thing I want to point out is this is in, in any era. 99 MP, bam, big finisher, turn one, cool. But beyond that, this one charge move, you can't stop it. You cannot stop him from gaining 5 MP green. That's enough to fill the sub. And the following turn, guess what? He'll fill the finisher. So no matter what, you're getting hit with this move set. Showdown, boom, one charge, easy. Feud, whatever you want to do. And uh, then we got a submission, which we're not even worried about it being a color submission. I'm just using the submission to subdue the opponent. So we're going to do 567,000 damage for three turns. That's cool. Power gems, that's cool. Um, if they, for some reason, got up and hit you with a big finisher on turn one, at least you'd have some power gems to help you kick out, you know? And then you're going to hit the big finisher here. Deal seven. Does that say? That says 7,025,736 and gain five yellow MP, pin the opponent. Don't even need that. This is just the combo for me, though. So what I'm going to do is just go. This is an old setup here. None of these characters are new or rare. You just green finishers 150% right there from Gable. You basically get another 150% from Doink. You get 50% from Nightheart. You get 40% from R Truth. So, 390% uh, bonus damage from the trainers and coaches. And then you go right out. You find you uh, a 50% move damage strap. I could use 100 on this account, but I like to keep it a little more realistic here. So, we're going to go 50%, double takedown to. And the Sheik plate's the rarest thing on here. And I'll show you in the match. It's not a deal breaker if you don't have it. You don't need it. It's just a little added. But if you got it, use it. Because there's nothing else on here. Like, you're not buffing any gem damage. You don't need to buff any power gems. You're not even using them. This is just going to melt six-star golds, though. We'll just never mind the fact that during 99 MP, we could just one-click 56 million damage right here. We could do that, but, um, you know, no matter what, in all these modes, you could be going one charge. You're going to hit the katana kick first, then you're going to hit the uh, the tortoise rack. And these are blue submission gems, so I'm just going to put them right down over the blue gems on the board. Try not to cascade them. Um, I want those three turns to stand. Now, he's going to get up and do that. That kind of sucks. Now, if I was worried about it this turn, you could always hit the katana kick again. And hit the sub again but after that it went from 56 million to 63 million so we gained 7 million damage with the chic plate there um and that's gonna be enough that'll do it 63 million that's more than he's got it's just wins it's just instant wins that's actually ridiculous but uh man i gotta have that i gotta have that offense i gotta have that coaching um let's go out and see if we can make something else work but i'm gonna be honest the simplicity of that set it's got defense with the sub it's it's everything i'm looking for in a move set so it's definitely gonna be my favorite all right i want to check out this ninja reflexes here so this is um the new cool thing i guess increase your gem and move dodge chance by a hundred percent for two turns while being submitted break submission and deal damage gems broken during a submission break do not deal damage okay so this is actually crazy so you can't if he uses this you can't submit him you can't swipe a gem and you can't use a move against him apparently we're gonna put it to the test 
Because this would still work in conjunction with the same setup, really. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that because we're going we're gonna to swipe out and see what happens then. Let's just see what happens here. I'll take red. Let's see. He's going to use a move and nope. He dodged that and he's going to try to use a move and nope. Dodge that too and nope. Oh, dodge that too. And then this turn... You would go ahead and use that again. So that would give you your 10. You would use that one charge both moves. So that's... <laughs> okay, I said I gave us protection before with a submission because you know I'm a sucker for a sub. But that's actually really freaking incredible. So then we're still... Now, nah, that's not. That's going to do a little less damage. 56 million because we don't have the sub to activate the Sheik Plate. That's kind of what I was trying to accomplish before. But wow. I gotta have this uh okay i'm looking through some more stuff but i'm gonna tell you just like you can plug these moves in here and this will work but i can just tell you right up front without even plugging anything else in the ceiling of this move set is not made for what we're doing especially when you can just dodge and reverse anything with the prior move set the protection from this doesn't even seem appealing so you do have a submission and it's a low charge sub but you can't beat the one charge of the other moveset anyways so um you can make a three by three area into cross break gems and then choose a one by seven to swap to green then choose a seven by one to swap to green so you can put an all heart plate on here and you'll break a lot of green gems not even a whole board so the damage output it's just it's not anywhere near what we're looking to do or what we did do so it's not even worth building the only way i would ever see you doing this move set would be like a faction boss and cross break gems were the big buff cross break gems green gems and green sub damage let's say are the three things you'd be like yo this move set with leonardo will hit but otherwise than that there's no way you would use that um so one thing i was looking at was like maybe no, but that's bonus damage for crossbreak gems, so. I don't really know. You can you can look to do some bonus damage with crossbreak gems. You gotta be able to get blue filled too. I mean, this isn't gonna happen after 99 MP. Like before, sure. During 99 MP, you could do bonus damage for crossbreak gems. That's a lot. But again. There's no way. Like, you're choosing blue with the sub. That's cool. You can do that. Uh, but then you're not recycling green much. Um, you could use a skill plate to choose blue, gain green. Was that Honky Tonk Blues? Or is it La Familia? I don't remember which one it is. But um, you could do that, and it will help you recover a little faster. But this is a 99 MP set, and I just don't see it being very useful when, again... This is what you're going to do. Let's be honest. Do the move damage. Do yourself a favor. Win match is easy. It's not going to score a ton of points in feud. But you don't have any. This is bonus damage anyways. So just go out there and win with the big stuff. Until next time, y'all.